I was doing this loop. Okay, I just had to stop. There's a fucking fly. And it won't leave me alone. I was so heartbroken. And then it fell on the floor. And I thought I was like, it's shattered. It's broken. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a tutorial for you as you can tell by the title. I did this look on my Instagram and I wanted to film a tutorial for it. So instead of making it exactly the same, I switched my lip color and added some graphic eyeliner as well. Before we get into the video, I want to mention that this wig is from Donna Love Hair. I will have it linked below like always. I do have a discount code for... Donna Love Hair, I will also leave that down below. But anyways, if you guys would like to see me do this look, then just keep watching. So I've already got my foundation on, so I'm gonna like try to mix up a brow color that will match this wig. Wigs are so annoying and they get in the way and the hair is everywhere. I'm gonna try to mix these two lime crime velveteens together. This one is fetish and this one is pansy. The freaking bottle on pansy turned like weird looking on the outside, but like it's normal on the inside. I don't know why I did that. Back when I like shaved like the ends of my eyebrows off, if you guys have been watching my videos for that long, I used to always use liquid lipsticks to do my eyebrows. It was one of my favorite ways. It works really well and they last. There's a fucking fly and it won't leave me alone. Now for the tails of my brows, I'm going to go in with fetish. But now I'm going to go in and contour my face with my Anastasia Gradient Blush Kit, the shade Dusk. Right here, very lightly. I'm even kind of like dotting it off on the back of my hand. And I'm using a wet and wild contour brush to do this. Just trying to get my hair to stay back there now because that was just getting so annoying. I've also successfully downsized my ears to an inch and a quarter. I haven't seen my lobes this small and seriously I cannot even remember when my lobes were this small. Five years ago, six years ago, it's it's been a while. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I posted a pride rainbow look on my Instagram the other day and I wanted to film a tutorial for that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Probably gonna add like a little bit of twist or spin from like the actual look I did on Instagram just so it'll be a little different. But yeah, that's also why I started out with my foundation already done because I feel like this might be a little bit of a time consuming video tutorial because it's a lot of colors and blending and everything. The main two palettes that I used to create that eye look was the Urban Decay Electric Palette and the Sugar Pill Burning Hearts Palette. I used all four of these. I was doing this look, okay, I just had to stop. When I was doing this look the other day, my cat thought it'd be cool to jump up here on my desk, and so she just like grabbed like whatever because. There was nowhere, there was no space left. It was just stuff. There was nowhere the cat could have went. So her claw dug into this eyeshadow. I've had this palette for like ever. Like since it first came out. And I haven't broke it because I've hardly used it or anything. But then my freaking cat jumps on my desk and digs her claw into this eyeshadow. I was so heartbroken and then it fell on the floor and I thought I was like it's shattered it's broken it wasn't but there was a huge ass chunk taken out of it 
But anyway, from this palette, I use this shade and then the blue shades. So first I'm going to go into the Sugar Pill palette and I'm going to use the shade Butter Cupcake, which is this amazing bright yellow. And I'm just starting by packing this on my inner corner and on like the inner third of my lid. I think I'll be able to do this a lot faster than I did it the first time because I know what I'm doing. That first time took me forever. And I'm gonna go back and forth between a blending brush and the packing brush and just blending over to make sure everything is seamless. Now switching to the other inner corner, I'm going to use this bright green shade from the electric palette called Thrash. And just like the other eye, I'm just packing it on the inner corner and inner third. And then blending the edges, just like the other eye. I'm sorry if you guys hear cars in the background. My camera is pretty good at not picking up background noises, but my um, filming setup now is like in a room that's like right at the road, and I live on a pretty busy road, so you'll probably hear the occasional car too. Back in with the yellow. Now I'm going to go with the orange and this is called Flame Point. Now for the orange, I'm just going to apply this on the center of my eyelid. And I'm just making sure to really pack this on to make it super intense. I'm going to start out just applying and then I'm going to go back in and blend. I'm going back in with the shade of the brush I used for the yellow. Picking up a little bit more yellow and just blending over the edge of the orange and kind of bringing it up here so the orange will have something to blend into. Go back in with the orange and lightly blending over the edge of the yellow and then up here I'm going to also blend that into that little bit of yellow we put down and I'm pulling the orange kind of over right here so when I lay down the red it will have something to blend into I'm just gonna go in with a clean blending brush and just blend right under the brow just so I get a seamless blend this look requires a lot of blending and I'm gonna keep packing on the orange and yellow until they're both super blended And I'm going to be mixing the shades Gonzo and Chaos for this. I'm just going to go back and forth, kind of. And just like the other eye, placing it in the center. When I was doing this look before, the blue and the green were the shades that I had the hardest time blending together. I got them to blend but it just took a little bit more work than the warmer tone shades. Going back and forth with the green and the blue blending them together. I overlap the edge of the green with the blue when I'm first applying it and then I go back in with the green and overlap again the edge of the blue and I just do that back and forth until I can get the edges as blended as possible. I hope that makes sense. And like the other eye, I'm taking some of the green 
over this area so the blue will have something to blend into. to go with that super bright blue and just apply that more over this way but still kind of on top the other blue and I'm gonna start blending it over this way so that when I put the purple down it will kind of have something to blend into I'm going to go in with a clean brush and just blend these edges. Again, going back and forth, blending and applying. Back to this side and the Sugar Pill palette, I'm going to go in with the red shade called Love Plus. And of course I'm just going to fill in the rest of this blank space with the red. I'm really building this red up because when you blend out this red it does kind of turn just to pink. So to make it super red I'm going to build it up a lot. And I will go back and blend momentarily. And then I'm going back with, in with the orange and blending it into the red. Now I'm going back in with the clean blending brush and blending over the edges. Going back and forth, building up the red, blending it out. I'm gonna come back and finish doing this red and stuff in a second, but I just wanna go ahead and do the purple on this side. And of course, I'm gonna use the purple shade from the Sugar Pill palette. This is called Poison Plum. Now I'm going back in with the blue, blending over the edges. Then back in with the blending brush, blending over the edges. I'm going to go ahead and drag the red along my lower lash line on the outer corner. And I'm going to start pulling it downward as well. And I'm gonna take a little bit of orange and apply just right here where the red meets the yellow. I'm just going to go in with the purple and apply that on this outer corner. Then in with a little bit of blue in the center. And of course you don't have to like blow this out as much as I did. You guys just know I like my eyeshadow just super blown out. So I want to add like a pop of pink, like this bright pink. This is Jeffree Star's Prom Night Velour Liquid Lipstick. Now I'm going to highlight my face using my ABH Dream Glow Kit. I'm going to use the shade Unicorn. And 
And I'm going to use the shade Sunshine just to highlight my nose a little bit more. Now I'm waiting for my lashes to get tacky enough for me to stick them on on. I'm going to apply some lipstick. I'm going to use the shade Fetish that I also use on my eyebrows. I'm going to use for my lips. You guys already know I'm going to be using Dodo Lashes in the style D115. These are my all-time favorite lashes. You can use my discount code WHICHBITCH for money off lashes from Dodo Lashes. I really need clear lash glue. Oh my god. I only have black eyelash glue and it kind of got all over the top of my eyeshadow and you would think it'd be an eyelash glue and it'd be in latex that it would just like roll off and not like like leave black staining on your eye you would think that but no so while I have my eyes closed trying to get that off my lower lash line mascara smeared on the yellow part so now I have a smear of mascara there great Anyways, uh, there's probably no fixing that little smudge, so just ignore that. Don't do that if you follow this tutorial. This is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and my content, you can subscribe to my channel as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in my next video.